Bugs really bug me, and they probably bug you too, but they really bug the airline industry. Hey everyone, I'm Trace. Thanks for checking out DNews today. Bird strikes, or bashes as they're called in the industry, are strangely common, with Boeing reporting 9,000 bird and other wildlife strikes in the U.S. in 2010 alone. Though just because a strike occurs doesn't mean something bad will happen, other than a bird dying, of course. In 2009, the EU commissioned a report that found only 51 airplane accidents worldwide due to those strikes since 1962. So fly confident, while messy and terrible, birds are not the ones we're worried about. Usually, we don't think about insect strikes, but insects are everywhere and they get in the way when you're walking or you're biking. You see the aftermath all over the front of your car after a long drive. <laughs> bugs on your windshield. That sucks, right? So, wouldn't it stand to reason if you go faster, you'll hit more of them? But at least it doesn't affect your gas mileage on a car. Not the case with airplanes, not the case at all. Mathematically, when you're going faster, the biggest problem is going to be drag. The faster you go, the more air resistance is going to affect your fuel economy. Airplanes travel so fast that engineers spend years perfecting the wings, the engines, and the fuselage for maximum lift to drag ratios to help the efficiency and the fuel economy. Even the little bumps from rivets, layers of metal, scrapes in the paint, and imperfections in manufacturing can affect an airplane's fuel use. Knowing that, imagine a situation with these flying behemoths taking off on paved airfields, often through whole swarms of insects, and they splatter all over the fuselage and the wings. Those bugs mess up these engineers' best laid plans. But now researchers at the German Aerospace Center are working with European airplane manufacturer Airbus to design a way to avoid those annoying little bugs and add another notch to their fuel economy. First, they had to find out where the insects were sticking. So they flew airplanes back and forth over a runway really low to the ground and they coated the plane in this sticky film, like a giant piece of soaring flypaper. Scanning the planes, they found where the insects were sticking and fed that information into computers so they could run simulations. Engineers think that they've figured it out now. Using carbon fiber wings, they designed new leading edge flaps that serve the purpose of swatting the insects out of the way and increasing the lift so the plane is more efficient overall. Right now, they're still conducting test flights, but well done, Germans. Next, let's figure out how to lose the bag fees, fix the food quality, and stop having to pay $2 for more pretzels, am I right? So tell us what you think about this innovation in the comments below, and make sure that you subscribe for more D-News every single day. Thanks for watching, I'm Trace.